Greetings friends, it's Tuesday morning and supposedly the first day of my work week as usual and um, don't you like my granny glasses today? <sighs> granny glasses, yeah, well, I don't know, I just, I found this chain when I was looking for something to wear and um, I thought, oh, maybe I won't lose, lose my glasses if I wear something like that and it provides a little bit of um, bling over the top of my clothes so I don't know what do you think is it a bit too grannyfied? Oh, I am old enough to be a grandmother but be I don't feel old enough to be a grandmother and oh, I don't really want to be a grandmother but I do love kids so um, my face of the day um, couldn't be anything but my new um, Bare Minerals collection because um, I just, I am in so, um, in, come on, think Joe. I'm so in love with it um, and I have decided to get the last piece that I don't have um, because I just, I, I just love it so much. So let me, because um, there's a couple of other new things here that I, I do want to show you. Um, um, so I started with my Alme Smart Shade. I did try the L'Oreal um, primer last week. It wasn't bad, but it doesn't compare to this. Um, I noticed that this makes a huge difference. Um, to my skin, so um, or to the makeup that goes on the top, doesn't matter what it is. Um, this just makes a huge difference. So um, I don't, I, I'm not sort of minding trying a couple of others, but um, but for the moment I'm really happy with this. So um, this is my second one in a very short space of time. So okay, then I. Um, decided to pay the Chanel shop a bit of a visit um, and guess what I picked up some Chanel CC cream um, I decided to give this a try and see see how it went now this one is a um, SPF 30 which I really like in a CC cream um, this one is in the colour 20 beige. It is very light. It goes on extremely light. But I've decided that's what I like for my skin. It's not probably my skin colour, but it somehow, it somehow works into my skin and it works better when it's on the lighter side to start with than on the darker side to start with. Um, by the time I've put my setting powder on the top, it's all just blended and um, so the lighter color actually does work well now when I put this on I look like a ghost um, and when I put it on this morning for the second day in a row I thought oh um, but it's worked out quite okay um, so this yeah this is in number 20 beige um, it's wearability isn't bad but it's not the best um, I had to go out last night um, so I think I put this on probably so at nine o'clock yesterday morning and yeah I, I had to about three o'clock it, it was looking like I had no makeup on or very little makeup on so I had to go out early because it was a matinee um, showing of the Australian Ballet and um, so I had to reapply my makeup about four o'clock, um, which is typical, I, I would say. But it really doesn't last the day. You would have to give it one touch up during the day. But it's beautiful. It's silky smooth. Um, certainly is not. Um, uh, it feels hydrating on my skin. It doesn't feel. Um, it, it just feels fine it feels like another layer of skin um, I don't even feel like I've got makeup on okay just as an aside while I'm on it I went to see La Silphide last night because I missed out last week my season ticket 
I I I had to um, forego because I had a work emergency. So um, I was really really disappointed, but I was able to go last night um, for not not a lot more. Um, I did have to pay, but um, oh, I love going to the ballet. I mean, that story is just it's a sad ending, but um, but it's just it's just beautiful. And we've got Cinderella in a couple of weeks and it's a world premiere um, of a new ballet. So that's really good. Okay, moving on. After that, I applied this um, Chanel Le Beige. Um, and I've got colour number 30. And this also has an SPF of 15. So um, the Le Beige. Now this looks a bit dark. But this is what times so beautifully with the um, with the CC cream, and it somehow just works for my skin. It kind of works a little bit like a, to me. It's actually an all-in-one product. It's it's a setting powder. It's a bronzer. Um, it somehow gives the color, and um, and not a dead color either. Um, it all just gives it all in one. Now, this has a little, um, th this is contoured slightly, this little brush that um, goes inside it. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. Um, I should actually swatch that for you so you can see because it, it is quite dark, but somehow it doesn't go on dark. Um, I don't know how that works out, but when you dust it over your skin, it it just magically goes where it's meant to go, and and um, and yeah, it. Oh, I don't know. You know what I'm talking about. I'm tired, and please forgive my lack of clarity this morning because um, it was a long day yesterday with the funeral and then the ballet last night and. Um, yeah, now I also did buy one of these um, Chanel brushes to apply that with rather than the little brush that it comes with because I'm not a big fan of those little brushes. Uh, fine when I'm out, um, but at home, especially when I've got all my face to do uh, from scratch, I, I want something a bit better. Um, and this is just a little Kabuki that is um, a travel Kabuki brush. From Chanel and isn't it just so cute now over the top of that I ever so lightly dusted with um, the hourglass um, lighting powder the ambient lighting powder um, just to give it a bit of lift just to bit give it a bit of glow a little bit of you know whatever um, okay moving on then for blush I used a she blush. Uh, this is a blush and illuminizer. Sun-kissed highlights for cheeks and eyes in sunflower. I really quite like this. Um, gives a nice, um, a nice sort of colour um, to the cheeks. So in a sort of a skin, you know, like my kind of coral. Uh, colors so that's actually not too bad so it's a two-in-one product and I've been having a bit of fun playing with a couple of she products so that's that um, then of course I had to use my bare minerals um, power neutrals palette and this morning I used um, this morning I used, what did I use? I used Schmooze, which is this gold one, all over. Um, well, actually, first, no, I used my NARS eyeshadow primer um, base. Um, then I used the Schmooze, which is this goldy colour. Then for the outer and um, um, crease I used I don't remember oh yes I do 
I used Exec, which is this sort of colour here. And then just under the um, eyebrows, I actually did use my brow highlighter, which is um, the Prestige one. And over the top of that, I just dusted a little bit of this Boss Lady because that's what I like to be sometimes. So that's what I used there. Now, I then used um, this Chanel waterproof um, long lasting eyeliner in Ex Espresso. And this is just a gorgeous kind of brownie colour um, that just is so creamy and just goes on beautifully. I just I haven't quite got the hang of that yet. It's all a bit. It's really not great when you come up really close um, but once that's set that's just gorgeous then I decided to go back to an old faithful which is um, my Estee Lauder double wear and this is a, a primer and mascara in one I've had this opened for a long time now this is way past its use by date um, which is eight months I can't read that that's just too small um, but on one end you've got your primer so this is the lash primer plus um, you can see it's all a bit globby um, but the primer actually works really good on my eyelashes and then that's the brush and that is still usable surprisingly even though it's out of date but um, say I've had this for maybe three years and it's been open for that long oh, maybe two years two to three years anyway but it has been open for that long so um, you know yeah but anyway so that's what I put on today I quite like that for my eyebrows I just use this um, Revlon color stay eyebrow liner it's not the best color for my eyebrows but it's a lighter color which is what i prefer to some of the blacks that i have i also used um this maybelline age rewind um concealer for my dark eye circles and just a couple of spots um and then last but not least i had to use the um the new bare minerals um um, lipstick in it's the Moxie lipstick of Bare Minerals which is Take Charge and of course then had to follow it up with the Moxie uh, matching lip gloss and this one is in Super Power and it's just gorgeous just gorgeous so there you have it. Now for those in Australia, um, this is the catalogue uh, that came out um, from Mecca um, Maxima, which is one of my closest stores. Um, there's two stores, Mecca Cosmetica and Mecca Maxima. Um, there's not a lot different between them. They're, they're really the same company. Uh, it's just what they stock that is slightly different in each of the stores. Um, so, but this, this is the catalogue and this was the this was the page that I marked because I thought oh, that looks nice and when I saw it in person I just had to have it. This up here is the piece that I haven't got which I think I might get so because it's the only one in that collection that I don't um, I don't have so there you have it. Okay sorry this has turned out a bit long-winded didn't mean it to. Thanks for watching and um, I was going to do a um, outfit of the day as well but anyway what the heck I decided to add the outfit of the day so I'll go over here where you can see so you can see that this is very wingy and I've just got some jeans on and a shirt and I've just got some red sandals on um, today so so that's my outfit of the day um, because I just wanted to share. Good. It's going to be warm today.
and it's going to be warm tomorrow and I'm really fearful we're going to have a long hot summer so um, if that's the case you know I'll think of moving to the northern hemisphere I think um, I really don't don't like hot summer so okay I have to go now I'll catch you later bye